What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to simulate the rest of the season. We have two guys that haven't signed on the dotted line. Uh, we just beat Purdue, so we're going to finish up this week, obviously. I'm going to just simulate it week by week by week just so we can stay up to date with what's going on. We are 8-4. and four. We went 5-3 and three in conference. Pretty big season for us. So I'm excited for the future, man. All right, so the outside linebacker, Nathan, 6'6", 225. He has signed. He is coming to town. Hopefully, that does not mean bad news. Like I tell y'all, I, I, I told y'all this a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm used to only getting foe, and he went someplace else. He is not going to come to town. So, yeah, so we missed out on the deep tackle, and that's a shame because we were on top of his list from the from the get-go, and I guess we did not give him the attention that he desired. So we got uh, two out, two right-side outside linebackers, another corner, my boy Hale, and then, of course, we got Woods, bruh, so... Pretty good recruiting class. Oh, how rude of me. How is everybody doing out there? Hope everybody's had a fantastic weekend. Week, you know, had a fantastic weekend and having a good week so far. It's Tuesday. How's y'all doing? Y'all good? Good. All right. Let's move on. So let's take a quick look at our old teams that we used to rock with. In week 14, Prime U was ranked number 25, but they lose on the road to Tennessee. That game gets Tennessee a bowl bid. Prime U is 5-6, and six, so they're going to miss out on a bowl game. They lost that game 42-10. to 10. And then our babies are ranked number one. USC is number three. Look at Miami sitting at number two. And SAU undefeated season 11-0 and oh, as they beat Lafayette. 48 to 14 army navy game army they lose 17 to 0 they had a rough season going 1 and 10 lsu got upset they were ranked number nine when this game was played they lose 17 to 7 to southern miss and stanford is bowl eligible beating notre dame uh 34 to 33 in a close contest and now it's conference championship week ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen conference championship week I right, saw so boy Ricky Lindsey, the one quarterback of the year, man. I was not keeping tabs on the Heisman watch, probably like I should have. But if he won quarterback of the year, maybe there's a chance he even squeaked in and got the Heisman. That would be something crazy, bro. That would be crazy if you got the Heisman. We're going to be taking on good old Alabama in that Outback Bowl, baby. I'm going to take that. A New Year's Day Bowl, it might not be the, the granddaddy of them on the Rose Bowl. But Eastern Illinois, ranked number 16, baby. You see it. You see it, we ranked, baby. We are ranked. We are ranked. And, of course, we do have the Heisman presentation. So our boy Ricky Lindsay has a chance to win it. Will he do it? Who knows, man. But he did have a fantastic end to the season. So let's see what happens. I'm Brad Nessler, and I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight in New York City for the presentation of the Heisman Trophy. It's an honor to present this award, which goes to the best college football player in the country. This young man will become a part of NCAA football history. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Heisman Trophy. Congratulations. So Ricky Lindsay finishes second in the Heisman to another Big Ten for Ohio State. We did not play Ohio State, so we did not get the pleasure of trying to stop Richie Lundy. Again, or Reggie Lundy, excuse me. 326 carries, 1,800 yards. Over 1,800 yards, 20 TDs, 13 receptions for 226 yards and 4 TDs for him. Ricky Lindsay had 165 first place vote, votes. So, again, man, he's just a sophomore. So, next year, next year, who knows, bruh? Who knows? Let's check out the top 25 polls real quick. Matter of fact, before we do that, let's see the conference championship game. Because I saw that NC State was on the cover of Sports Illustrated, and they upset Miami. And now they're ranked number two. They're 11-1. Miami was 9-3. and I mean, they had two losses at the number two team in the country. So, I mean, hey, it looks like it looks like everything was corrected. Uh, LSU, they lose back-to-back -back games. And Georgia, they, they are SEC champs. Georgia. Ranked number 18, 8-4. Eight and four. Nebraska, they beat Oklahoma in the Big 12 championship game. Okay. And then, then Tulsa handles business in the Conference USA championship game. All right, so let's check out the top 25 polls really quick, really fast. So SAU, NC State, national championship game. Should be a good one. Then you got USC, Iowa, Penn State. Look at, look at the Big Ten representing. 
The Big Ten is represent Auburn's number seven, Miami Field at number eight. Georgia Tech is a top ten team. So is Texas A and M. Got Cal, then you got Alabama. You got Oregon State. You got Florida. You got Ole Miss. Then there, hey, there we go. Ranked in the top 20. I'm going to take that. Oklahoma, they fall to number 17. Georgia is now at number 18. They were 22, now they're 18. 19 goes to Oregon. Mississippi State's top 20. Kansas State's 21. Illinois. Illinois. Look at Illinois. The Big Ten is represented, baby. Big Ten is represented. UCLA and then Purdue. I mean, hey. The Big Ten is out here doing big things, man. We had, what, like six teams in the top in, in the top ten, maybe five teams. That's what's up. That is what's up. So, Ricky Lindsey is first team All-American. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. Do we have anybody else on the list? I'm doubting it. I'm doubting Oh, Davis. My bad, Davis. I shouldn't have been doubting it. As a freshman, first team All-American as a freshman. Strong safety. That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. Do we get any second team members? Any second team members? That is going to be a big fat no. Any freshmen? Of course, Wendell Davis should be on there for the freshman team as well. There he goes. And we got Walker in there too on the freshman team. Matt Walker, Wendell Davis. <laughs> Let's go. Future's looking bright, baby. Future's looking bright. Let's just go to the Big Ten really quick. Of course, first team got our quarterback. Will we have anybody else? First team, we should have Wendell and maybe what? Okay. Font Eric Fontaine, first team Big Ten, baby, as a sophomore. That's what I'm talking about. Wendell, first team for the Big Ten. Bo Rick, second team Big Ten honors. And then we got my boy Walker. He should be. Wow. Well, he did. it was freshman. It was freshman. It was freshman. He made the freshman team. All right. I'm not mad at that. I am not mad at that. So here goes the look at the ball games. We'll be playing our ball game tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow's episode. I just wanted to do a thorough uh, thorough end to the season video again. Outback Bowl for us. I'm pretty excited about that. I really am. I really am. I'm not going to lie. I believe our first bowl game with Prime U was also the uh, Outback Bowl. And there, we were the SEC team going up against the Big Ten's Purdue. All right, so Sugar Bowl is the national championship game. NC State taking on SAU. My babies, my babies. Y'all done did it, my babies. I'm proud of you. So now NC State's ranked number. Or, you see how it's like one, two. I, I don't but I don't know. Who knows? Whatever. All I know is that Georgia and Nebraska are going to be in that Fiesta Bowl. Orange Bowl is Iowa and um, West Virginia. And then Oregon and Ohio State. Even though USC was ranked higher, and Iowa, I believe, was ranked higher than both these teams. But hey, it goes to the Pac-10 and Big Ten champs. So hey, I'm not going to argue with nobody. Penn State, handle business versus LSU, baby. It is a Big Ten party. That's right, Big Ten party, man. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. Quick, fast, easy, just to give you guys a recap. So again, I try to tell y'all, in season recruiting, we only get four guys. So yeah. I, I, I really wanted to de-tackle, too. I ain't going to lie. I, I should have took his points away earlier because I don't think we need two right outside linebackers, but maybe this guy could play DN for us or whatever. Definitely going to look to redshirt some guys. Haven't really done that in the earlier part of this dynasty, but we definitely will look to redshirt some people. Um, but, yeah, that's going to do it, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope the rest of the day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, stay safe out there. It's a crazy world that we live in. Peace. Love. Awesome.